Watch you guys, it seems that there's more doom and gloom for Windows 10 users. As you can see here, if you're running Windows 10 version 1903 and you've done the very latest updates, as you can see here, the update, which is listed right here, KB4515384, is causing issues with the start menu and also with Windows desktop search. It's also causing problems with um, the network card and Wi-Fi adapters. Uh, sometimes it will, uh, it will disappear or it will um, uh, disable itself and you can't re-enable it. And there's a bunch of other things like uh, high CPU usage and there's also audio problems in games. Uh, audio is very quiet or different than expected. So you may find that there's a bunch of problems with this update and if you want to uninstall it, then that's what I'd advise you to do if you're having issues. If you're having no issues with it whatsoever, you may want to leave it installed until you find that there is a problem. If you don't want to keep it on there, just in case, then you want to uninstall it. There's a bunch of highly reputable websites out there that have uh, talked about this uh, particular update causing problems with audio, uh, but it's other uh, issues with it as well. So if you don't want to uh, fall foul to some of these problems, then you may want to remove it from the system. And you can always pause the updates and wait until they've uh, fixed that update and then re-download it. Let me show you how to um, uninstall it. You just need to go to the start button here. And then once you click on the start button, hit the settings pane. This will open up the settings window. And then from there, you want to click on update and security. Once you clicked on that, what you can do here is then uh, click on the view update history. This will show you all the update history for this machine. And once you see this, you should go up to the top where it says uninstall. We're going to click on this one here. And once we click on uninstall, what you're looking for here is that KB4515384. That is the file right here. As soon as you click on this file, it will show the uninstall button and you'll then be able to uninstall uh, this update from your system. It does take a fair bit of time, so be patient. You will get a little prompt box popping up. Just say yes, and it will then start to uninstall it. Now, it may take a few minutes just to uninstall, so be patient and uh, let it do its thing, okay? It does look like it's frozen from time to time, so just leave it, and it will then suddenly finish the uninstall. But I'll speed this process up so you don't have to wait. But basically, once the uninstall is complete, you will get a prompt box asking you to restart your computer. So just restart your computer. If you want to restart later on, you can do. You may want to pause the updates to stop that file from coming back down. Otherwise, it may drop that file back onto the system. Uh, again, you may run into the same issues if you are having issues with that update. So just bear that in mind. Also, again, it's another horrible update for Windows 10. It seems like every single update they release they haven't checked it properly and you're going to end up with massive issues like this and to them it's probably not a big issue but if you are a gamer or you use audio quite a lot and you're having issues then it can be a bit of a pain in the backside so now like i've always said i always pause windows 10 updates and uh, when you don't pause them these will slip down and come onto the system like it did on mine and of course what happened was I've just done a fresh install and I forgot to pause my updates and of course this one's come down and I started getting network card issue problems and I wondered what was causing it I thought the motherboard was failing or or the network card on the motherboard was failing it turns out it's a Windows 10 update issue so it just goes to show you uh, what can happen so it's always best to pause your updates for maybe uh, one to two to three months just to make sure maybe two or three months would be better and then that way you can keep an eye on that website to see whether there's any sort of known issues with those updates anyway hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.